All right, so let's look at some brief history and the fundamental idea behind Docker. So it was initially released in March 2013 by Solomon Hikes. Uh, if you do a quick Google for Solomon Hikes, you should be able to see his profile. And now Solomon Hikes uh, released it as a container management service. Now, what do we mean by this so-called container management service? Well, at its core, it basically means it allows you to build, ship and run any app anywhere. Now, this whole idea is for developers. So when developers develop their apps, they can ship them into containers. Well, technically, they are actually shipped as Docker images, which are deployed in containers. We'll see it in action very, short, very soon. Uh, these containers can then be actually deployed anywhere. Now, this is true irrespective of what language developers use to develop their applications. So let's have a look at some of the images. So for example, I'm on currently hub.docker.com and I just went into explore and I selected one of the most commonly used Docker images, Nginx. So these images that you see over here, they're actually created using this so-called Docker file. We'll go into the depth of it. Don't worry about so much code here. Now, these images, once created, they are deployed in production or anywhere, even on your local machine, using containers. So that's what we mean that they are actually deployable anywhere by using containers. 